Welcome, welcome everyone to another episode here at Jack of All Trivia. This is the movie division. We have Richard Carefree Schwartz in the building, and he's going to be facing Ryan, Mr. Payne himself. And uh, I am your host, the villain, and this is my co-host, the question master of the evening. He is C-Dub. What's going on, brother? Uh, what's cracking, Haven? Um, this is an exciting match. These are two solid competitors, and uh, I hope they're prepared for my questions this fine evening. Um, yeah, see them. If you mind, uh, would you want to ask these dudes uh, questions uh, going into the match? You know, how they're feeling and shit like that? Uh, sure. Uh, first, we'll go to Ryan. Um, you've competed in many different leagues. You uh, you defeated me in one of them. And uh, how are you feeling coming into this match? I'm trying to remain very as a calm as possible, as chill. I mean, don't get I'm stressed out. I mean, uh, you go, you, it, I mean, once you play one match, it feels like it's been ages or like literally the seasons change when you get your next one, you know? <laughs> so like any sports competition, I'm just uh, training and taking my time and I want to be as calm and yeah, just as calm and as clear as possible. I'm not going to try to throw my board or break it or anything like that. But gotcha. don't be shocked if I actually scream in celebration. Um, <laughs> cool beans. And uh, Richard, uh, how are you feeling coming into this match? Uh, well, movie, normal movie trivia is you, not my strength. I'm usually inner geekdom guy, but you know, the only way to get better is to put yourself out there. I don't see myself win today, but I'll do my best. What I do, my best. That's all anybody can ask of you. All right, fellas, one. in round one, the way it works is you'll get eight eight questions from eight predetermined categories. If if there are technical issues, if you hear a question clearly enough, I can give you a free technical repeat. You'll get four repeats throughout the match. If you have an issue with, with a certain call, you can challenge it. If you win your challenge, you will get an, an additional challenge. Do you guys have any questions? Yeah, I'm all set, man. I'm all right, well, if everybody's yeah. ready... Then uh, let's kick off round one. Ding, ding, ding. Question one in the category of action. In the film Independence Day, why does the president have to use the bathroom? Okay. <laughs> See, Doug, throwing out bombs in the first question <laughs> guys i'm just messing with you that's not a legit question just wanted to get have some fun here Wait. all right guys your first actual question in the category of sports what is the name of the team that is featured in any given sunday I like sports films. I like football <laughs> films, but for some reason, this one's not ranked in my top five. In five, four, three, two, one. Mark us down. Richard, we'll go to you first. I had no idea. I said Dallas Cowboys. Ah, ah. Um, Ryan, let's go to you next. I believe the team in the movie is called the Miami Sharks. And you are correct. All right. All right, fellas. Your second question is in movie release date. What year? Saw the release of The Fugitive and Falling Down. These are two classic films. Yes, I like both of these films very much. Yeah, Falling Down was um, obviously in my top 20. It was a great film. Five. Four, three, two, one. Mark is down. Ryan? Um, I'm throwing this out there. 1994. Ah, 
Sorry. It's incorrect. Richard? I also said 1994. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, you were off by one year. It was 1993. Wow. Ah. <laughs> uh. Well, there is something that someone says when they get off by that close. I sandwiched it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Your third question comes in the category of directors. Who directed the films Twins and My Super Ex-Girlfriend? Hey, you hit him with some more uh, curveball here, you know? Um, My Super Ex-Girlfriend was actually a fun film. Later, uh, it came out in the 90s, I believe, maybe early 2000s. Um, but yeah, this is, t- this is a tough one. In five, four, three, two, one, markers down. Richard? I said Ivan Reichman. What did he say? Ivan Reichman. Ivan. That is correct. Ah. And Ryan? No, I just went with John McTiernan. Uh, So Richard ties it up. Yeah, fun story. Question number four comes in the category of Famous actors and actresses. Name one. What okay. actress? What actress starred in the film Election? This was a. You ever uh, seen this film, Haven? Yeah, yeah. I would categorize this film right now. You know, besides politics, it's a, maybe a cult classic. Because a lot of people discover this after the fact. But yeah, it was a good film. Yeah, I, I really liked it. In five, four, three, two, one. Markers down. Ryan? Um, Reese Witherspoon. You are correct. Richard? Did not have it. I so Ryan it. regains the lead. All right, fellas. Question number five comes in the category of animation. Brad Garrett voices which character in the film Ratatouille? <laughs> I, like this I have not seen this film, Haven. Oh, man. Come on, bro. But this, but this oh, film is generally. A, I typically just answer this film if I hear animation and food in it, in the title, in the question. All right. Five. And five, four, three, two, one. Marcus down. Richard. I said Bruce. I took a shot in the dark. <laughs> and then we Sorry, played a rat. That's correct. That's Ryan? I don't know how to spell out his name. I just said Gustav. Uh, you are correct. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I French is not my specialty. <laughs> All right, fellas. Uh, question number six. Question number six comes in the category of drama. In the film American Beauty, what does Ricky tell Jane he would do for her? Hmm. This was a classic film. This is already considered a classic. One uh, Oscars, great film. You know, uh, I love, I love this. Movie. Oh yeah. It was Sam Mendes' 
directorial <clears throat> debut. Mm. Nice. In five, four, three, two, one. Marcus down. Ryan? I believe he said he would kill Jane's dad. That is correct. Damn it. Richard? <laughs> I say kill himself. I haven't seen that movie in God knows where. <laughs> All right, fellas. Question number question number seven comes in the category of comedies. <laughs> what what town do Lloyd and Harry travel to in the film Dumb and Dumber? <laughs> this is one of my top five favorite comedies, Haven. It's a great comedy. Like I can't remember another one after this. Maybe old school, a couple other ones after this. But yeah, this one hit the mark big time. Fan favorite. What, another Jim Carrey comedy or comedies in general? Comedies in general. Uh Step Brothers, that's a great comedy. Uh I love Step Brothers. Uh pens are down. And Five, four, three, two, one. Marcus down. Richard? I said Big Bear. I had no idea. <laughs> uh, Ryan? Uh, I mean, it's definitely one of my favorite movies, and I kicked myself I got it wrong. I said Aspen. And you are correct. All right, so your eighth and final question of the round comes in the category of action slash adventure. What speed must the bus stay above from keeping the bomb from going off in the film Speed? All right, a little throwback classic question right here. Hold on. Hot please, hot shot. <clears throat> I remember seeing this film for the first time, Haven, and I used to have a bowl cut. And I remember after seeing it, and Kiana with the short hair, I remember saying to my mom, I want that haircut, but she would not let me do it. <laughs> All right, yes. <yeah. laughs> I can see that. In five, four, three, two, one. Mark is down. Richard? I said 100 miles per hour. <laughs> mm. Sorry, that's incorrect. Ryan? Yep. Uh, 55 miles per hour. Did you say 55? Yeah, right here. 55. Uh, sorry. Sorry, that's incorrect. The correct answer is 50 miles per hour. 50 miles. Oh. Uh, okay. Ugh. All right, well, after round one, Ryan has, uh, has a pretty sizable lead at five points to Richard's one. Yeah, so now going into round two, Shit. Ryan will pick between A, B, or C, and that will... Uh, correspond with either an actor, an actress, or a director. If Ryan and Richard both agree to the first letter that Ryan picks, if they don't agree to it, they, Ryan can pick another letter, but they're stuck with that one. So you'll go back and forth naming that person's filmography. After you've missed twice, the remaining of the other opponent will get uh, 10 seconds to list off six additional films do you both understand the rules yes mm -hmm. <laughs> all right ryan yes. give us give us a letter between a b or c
Well, let's just go with what I ended up being in high school. C. Hmm. And that is the actor who played the president in Independence Day, Mr. Bill Pullman. Oh damn! <laughs> damn. Uh, do you want to pick? Do you want to pick another one? It's your. <laughs> no, that is risky. Uh I will pick another one. Yeah, I don't mind you picking another okay. one. <laughs> All right, then let's go with B. And that is famed director of Forrest Gump, Mr. Robert Zemeckis. Okay. We have to stick with this one, don't we? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Patrick. And remember, guys, you'll get five seconds each for each round to answer to give a movie. Okay. All right. So are are both of you guys ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's yep. do this. All right. Starting with Ryan now. Well, let's get this one out the way. Forrest Gump. All right. Uh, back to the future. <laughs> Correct. Richard? He just said back to the future. What did he say? Richard said back to the future. Back to the future. Okay. That is correct. Ryan? Flight. All right. Uh, that is back correct. Back to the future part two. That is correct. Ryan? The Polar Express. That is correct. Richard? Let's keep it going. Back to the Future Part 3. <laughs> that is correct. Ryan? The, his own, the Nightmare Before, no, 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 A Christmas Carol, A Christmas Carol. All right. Hold on. A Christmas Carol. Uh, Sorry, what did you, hold on, what did you say? A Christmas Carol. What, what is it? Haven, what did he say? I didn't quite get that. See, Dub, I said a Christmas carol. A Christmas carol. That is, that is correct. Oh, Richard? God. I'm so screwed. Uh, I hate directors. Uh, you know what? I don't think this is right. Is it, Was a Nightmare Before Christmas one? <laughs> Haven, did Richard uh, say an answer? Yeah, he said nightmare. nightmare before Christmas. Nightmare before Christmas. Damn it! I'm having trouble understanding what's being said. Richard said a nightmare before Christmas. Yeah, Richard. Um. Yeah. Uh, he didn't yeah, direct didn't. Nightmare Before Christmas. I figured he didn't. <laughs> All right, so it's back to Ryan. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I believe the movie is called The Walk. It stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt. That is correct. Yeah. Okay. You are correct, Richard. Uh, I. You know, and this is probably wrong. Um, fifty-fifty. Sorry, no, that's not. Not the correct answer. Yep, yep but I'm out. All right, Ryan. I think you have did. ten seconds to list off six additional films. Six. Starting okay. now. I know he did Welcome to Marwin. Um, what's that one he did about the teenagers going to see the Beatles? Um, I want to hold your hand. Um, he did a few others. Um. Uh, Wait, what other anime movie he do? Uh, uh. <sighs> Time up. 
Uh, Haven, did you get any of that? I couldn't really make out anything. <laughs> yeah, he, he mentioned two films. Welcome to Marwin and the animated film. Um, no, no, I said I want to hold your hand. Uh, yep. I was trying to think of another animated movie. Those are just two. Welcome to Marwin and I want to hold your hand. I don't think that's the name of that movie, though, but. All right. Haven, how many films did he name off? He named two, but I think only one was correct. Two? He named two, but only one was correct. I want to hold, I want to hold your, I want to hold your hand is correct. I heard him oh, say oh. that. What oh, was so the second one? Welcome to Marwin. Right. I'll stop. I'll stop. CW, if you can't hear us, okay. you can hear us, bro. That that you are correct. Both of those are correct answers. I can't believe nobody uh mentioned Castaway. <clears throat> Death becomes her. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Yeah, I was thinking of that movie. I was thinking of Roger Rabbit. <laughs> so after round two, Ryan has a commanding lead. At 12 to 4. All right, so uh, way round three works is you'll get a, you'll pick three numbers. That'll be your two pointer, your three pointer, and your five pointer. Both of you guys still have all your repeats left. Ryan, since you're leading, let me get your three numbers. One to 12, you said? Okay. Uh, I'll go nine, two, and six. Haven, hey, let me just make sure he picked nine, two, and six. Nine, twelve, and six. No, he said nine, nine two, and six. Nine, one, right? and six. I said two. Okay. Nine, two, nine. six. Yeah. Okay. All right, Richard. Uh, four, seven, eleven. It's four, okay. seven, eleven. Yeah, I got him. All right. All right, Richard. Your two-point question comes in the category of animation. Okay. In the film Toy Story, what game does Slinky like to play? Checkers. You are correct. All right, Richard. You have to hit this to stay, stay in the game. You picked... Category number seven, and that is in the category of classics. Well, and I am out. Okay. <laughs> Let's hear the question anyway. The Jets and the Sharks are gangs in West which Side Story. Oscar winning West film. Side West Side Story. West Side Story. Next question. <laughs> you are correct. Do not count yourself out, my friend. <laughs> All right. Come, your five pointer. You chose number 11. That is in the category of, of video game movies. I would have loved this category. <laughs> in, in the film Mortal Kombat, where does Scorpion teleport Johnny Cage? Uh, hell. And your winner, Ryan, Mr. Pain. The correct answer is the Nether Realm. Challenge. The Nether no, it Realm. was not. No, it was not. 
It was because hell. Because Scorpion, yeah, no. it, never, it was never stated where Scorpion actually sent Johnny Cage. In the video games, Scorpion was from hell. Whoa. All right, so I just I just read the plot synopsis. I got that question off of a video game movies trivia thing, so that's where I got that question. I didn't see Nether Nether Realm in in the plot synopsis, so here's what I'm gonna do. Assume, um, I don't have another five point question for video game movies, but what I will permit Richard to do is pick a different number for his five pointer. Okay. What was that number? I don't remember oh, what I picked. <laughs> you picked eleven, I so picked, that's gone. I picked eleven. Okay. Um, let's go. Did someone pick thirteen? I don't remember. No. Uh, I'll try thirteen. Okay. Thirteen yeah. is in the category of directors. Oh, and now I'm really dead. <laughs> Name. <laughs> Name Sorry. the director who directed the films Liar Liar and Bruce Almighty. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Uh, okay. I know this is wrong. I know this is really wrong. I know this is extremely wrong. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me, let, me, let me try it. It's a good question. I should know this, but I don't. Uh, I'm going to use a repeat. Four... I'm using a repeat. That's your first repeat. Yes. Name the who direct who directed the films Liar Liar and Bruce Almighty. I'm just trying to think what would those have in common. I mean, obviously Jim Carrey, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's not he. Obviously, did not direct ah. it. Uh, Repeat the question. Three. Repeat the question. Who directed the film? Who I heard. Who directed the films? Liar, liar, and Bruce Almighty. No, that's not. That. You know what? I I'm not gonna get this. It was a good game. Oh. I'm just going to put out the name. I'm going to say Harold Ramis. I know that's completely wrong. I said Harold Ramis. <laughs> Can you say uh, an answer? Hey, he said man. Harold Ramis. I'm assuming that's wrong. I said Harold Ramis. And your I, winner. Yeah. Ryan. Mr. Your Pain. The correct answer is Tom Shadyak. Tom Shadyak. Tom Shadyak. Oh, I shouldn't remember that. I wouldn't <laughs> got it anyway. Never. I know the movies. Never heard the director. That's interesting. Okay. Yes, same here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot to research on, honestly. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, good match, fellas. Um, let's go to the winner, Ryan. You take this match at a score of twelve to nine. How are you feeling, bud? Uh, this was a uh, pretty good. Uh, I I guess I'm kind of fortunate that I, other than the obvious movies of Robert Zemeckis, I'm kind of fortunate I remember some of the his more uh, let's say creepy pictures, like the ones he does with like he does with the CGI stuff. So. I'm kind of glad I remember some Robert Zemeckis movies. Um, the, and I do appreciate uh, my opponent with Richard. I mean, he definitely came back. Uh, depending on how that video game movie question would have gone, I would have gotten to answer a couple. And who knows, maybe he could have came out on top or I did. But I, I just felt this was just good to play again. Uh, like I said, like I said earlier, you don't play a game. You don't play a match in a while. It feels like it's been ages to where the information just seeps in the back of your head. The more games I play, more trivia puzzles or quizzes I do, the fresher I am, and I'm just eager to see who I'm going to play next. Definitely. And uh, Richard, I know you didn't really have any expectations come into this, but uh, 
you you uh you fought bad strong. You could have given up after round two, and you didn't. You took it down to to the five pointer, but you just came up a little bit short. But uh, how are you feeling? Um, I'm I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling a little bummed. I really wish it was a different Mortal Kombat question I could have gotten. I was I was actually hoping it was like who directed Mortal Kombat Annihilation because I would have had that one down, or uh, who directed both of them. But nah. <laughs> It was hard. Uh, again, I am beat. Like when it comes to round two, I didn't realize it was the older round two. But you know, it's hard for me to memorize stuff like that. Like trying to memorize movies and stuff under pressure, especially like Robert Zemeckis. The only thing that came to mind was Back to the Future. So you know, yeah. Happens. I got it. Like um, next next game, the next time I'm up for singles, I'm just gonna study harder and hopefully I can get a win. This is just a testing feel how it was for singles division. I got a feel for it. Now I know what to prepare for <laughs> in the future. <clears throat> but it was fine. Definitely, we would definitely like to see you back. Haven, hey, uh, what were your thoughts on the match? <clears throat> yeah, it was uh, back and forth. You know, the, soon they both of you guys, um, you know, were trying to get the lead and you know maintain it to the end it was a good match ryan won so yeah it's good definitely all right well i had a lot of fun hosting i know this i have problems with stream yards likes to kick me out more than i'd like but uh but this was fun so i'll go around the horn uh ryan where can everybody find you online um, well, people can find me in many, uh, many uh, leagues across here. You can, I mean, I'll be, I'll, I'm definitely hoping to play again in Jack of All Trivia. People can check me out on Multiplex. I know I have a team match with my partner Scott Harvey about to happen. That's gonna, that's gonna happen. I mean, we've already recorded it. Hopefully, it's gonna be on Multiplex soon. And people can also check me out for the movie trivia face off. I play in the geek division and singles division. And also on the uh, Jack of All Trivia page, I've been currently right now, I have been uh, doing a, a fun little project with uh, Travis Ryan Schaefer where we are doing fantasy booking for Raw and SmackDown where we try to, see, you know, kind of like the GM mode you would do in WWE 2K. We are actually going to try to do that. And we so far we've had three episodes released and hopefully we Hopefully, I mean, we're having a lot. We're having a blast, you know, of uh, fantasy booking matches on Raw, SmackDown, and hoping to do more. But right now, we're keeping it simple. And, yeah, people can check that out on the Ryan Cross Project. Definitely. And uh, Richard? Uh, they can find me on Facebook under Richard Schwartz. You can find me here at Jack of All Trivia, trying his best, trying his darndest. You can find me on Twitter. Uh, and YouTube on External Void, and you can find me stuck in my house because we're all stuck in our houses these days. Isn't that right, Haven? Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Definitely. Haven? Well, you can find me on Facebook at Jack of All Trivia. That's so how you get into the league, you know, um, get set up with matches. And uh, on YouTube, Jack of All Trivia, baby. Jack of All Trivia. 350 plus subs today and uh you can find me here at jack of all trivia competing and hosting sometimes uh youtube christopher woodburn twitter chris woodburn 83 and uh this was fun congrats to ryan on a hard fought victory both good competitors so for haven for ryan for richard i'm c-dub until next time peace